Worship of Bragi As Bragi was god of poetry, eloquence, and song, the northern races also called poetry by his name, and skalds of either sex were frequently designated as Braga men or Braga women. Bragi was greatly honored by all the northern races, and hence his health was always drunk on solemn or festive occasions, but especially at funeral feasts and at Yuletide celebrations. When it was time to drink this toast, which was served in cups shaped like a ship and was called the Bragaful, the sacred sign of the hammer was first made over it. Then the new ruler, or head of the family, solemnly pledged himself to some great deed of valor, which he was bound to execute within the year, unless he wished to be considered destitute of honor. Following his example, all the guests were then wont to make similar vows and declare what they would do. And as some of them, owing to previous potations, talked rather too freely of their intentions on these occasions, this custom seems to connect the god's name with the vulgar but very expressive English term, to brag. In art, Bragi is generally represented as an elderly man, with long white hair and beard, and holding the golden harp from which his fingers could draw such magic strains. So that was The Worship of Bragi, the final section of Chapter 6 of Myths of the Norsemen by Helen A. Gerber, Bragi. I will be working my way through this book section by section, and if there are any other public domain books that you would like for me to read, please leave a comment below. Did you enjoy this video? Then subscribe for more, and be sure to check me out on Facebook and Patreon. Thank you for listening, and have a lovely evening.